Hi and welcome to week 27 of U.S. history. So this week, uh, we're going to discuss some more pivotal moments in U.S. history. We're delving into the whirlwind of events that shaped the nation's course. <clears throat> Excuse me. From the catastrophic Dust Bowl to the transformative policies of the New Deal era. Um, and we will begin our week by discussing the causes and effects of the Dust Bowl. So the Dust Bowl, a period of severe dust storms that ravaged the American prairies during the 1930s, was triggered by a combination of natural and human-induced factors. Prolonged drought, coupled with farming pra- with poor farmer- farming practices such as overgrazing and extensive plowing, led to the erosion of topsoil and the creation of vast dust storms that engulfed the region. The effects of the Dust Bowl were profound and far-reaching. Thousands of farmers were forced to abandon their land, leading to widespread displacement and economic hardship. Dust storms blanketed the landscape, causing respiratory problems and exasperating the Great Depression by decimating agricultural production. Now, speaking of the Great Depression, we are going to be contrasting the responses of two presidents to the economic crises, uh, those being Herbert Hoover and Franklin D. Roosevelt. Hoover, a proponent of limited government intervention, initially pursued a hands-off approach to the economic downturn, believing that the market would correct itself. However, his reluctance to intervene decisively earned him criticism for his perceived indifference to the suffering of ordinary Americans. Now, in stark contrast, Franklin D. Roosevelt embarked on an ambitious agenda aimed at revitalizing the economy and providing relief to those hardest hit by the Depression. Roosevelt's New Deal policies marked a departure from free market economics as he implemented a series of programs aimed at simulating economic growth, creating jobs, and providing social welfare benefits. So now let's delve deeper into the programs that comprised uh, Roosevelt's first New Deal. Uh, The first New Deal introduced a wide array of programs aimed at at addressing the immediate needs of the American people and jump-starting the economy. So from the creation of the Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC, to the establishment of the Works Progress Administration, WPA. These initiatives provided employment opportunities, infrastructure improvements, and social welfare benefits to millions of Americans. Additionally, Roosevelt's administration implemented groundbreaking legislation such as the Social Security Act, which established a system of retirement pensions and unemployment insurance, laying the foundation for for America's modern welfare state. However, Roosevelt's New Deal faced opposition from various quarters. We're going to be identifying the opponents and exploring their major criticisms. So the critics, including conservative politicians, business leaders, and Supreme Court justices, raised concerns about the expansion of government power and the perceived threat to individual liberty. They argued that Roosevelt's policies were overly interventionist and infringed upon the principles of free market capitalism. One of the most contentious moment, moments of Roosevelt's presidency was his proposal to increase the number of Supreme Court justices, known, commonly known as Court Packing Plan. Roosevelt's plan to expand the Supreme Court was met with fierce opposition from both sides of the political aisle, with critics accusing him of attempting to undermine the independence of the judiciary and consider, consider, consolidate power excuse me, in the executive branch. Ultimately, Roosevelt's court packing plan failed to gain traction in Congress, but its impact on the course of the New Deal was significant. The controversy surrounding the proposal highlighted the tensions between the branches of government and underscored the challenges of enacting sweeping legislative forms. So, 
we'll be reflecting on these topics and delving them delving with them into more detail during class i want to thank you for following along and i look forward to working with you all next week thank you